going to take this simple shelf behind me and turn it into a brooder for baby chicks. It's uh, just learning how to use uh, what you got um, and repurposing it to uh, help you homestead. So uh, we're pretty new at this and uh, we hope you'll be patient with us as we go through this journey. So we're cutting through a piece of plastic that we got off of a old playground and we're and I'm using the backing, uh, using the plastic for a backing and uh, taking some shears and just cutting along the bottom to get some sort of lip so we can have a have a back to it and have something to screw down once we're all done. So there it is completely off. Not a real clean cut. Probably could have used like a, a saw or something different, but it's good enough for what we're trying to accomplish here. We're trying to create a safe place where the, there won't be any way for a chick to fall down through or for any kind of predator to come along and uh, eat the baby chicks for a snack. So uh, this takes us one step closer to the chicken empire that we want to build and to uh, get some baby chicks in here to start uh, start breeding birds. So anyway. Uh, so what I did is I took an old set of shelves and began the process of building a uh, chicken brooder. We have a regular chicken brooder that um, we use for them when they're baby chicks, but we needed something that would take them to the next level, give them plenty of room and keep them safe and secure. And so instead of going out and buying something new, we're kind of using what we have already and making, some, uh, making a secure place for them to be. Uh, it's not done yet, as you can see, but this is like the midway point, and um, I'm going to show you just a few things. One is, we had an old pallet, and so what we did is we cut it in half, uh, and we screwed it to uh, these boards that are on the shelf, just to make it uh, have some place for us to put chicken wire that we'll put here so that nobody can get in, nothing can get out, um, and it can be safe for the chicks. We um, I believe in having a plenty of heat for them in the winter time, making them as comfortable as possible. Um, but we also uh, are okay with having weather hardy birds. So we don't use heat lamps with our full grown chickens, but with our baby chicks we, we have to keep them in the barn and so we keep them under a heat lamp. We'll also have a water source for them in here and we'll have wood chips down. Uh, if you come in close you'll see that there's this rubber matting down there so that uh, the wood won't get wet underneath it. It'll just stay, uh, the water will just sit there and we can clean it up and the wood chips can absorb it as the baby chicks need it. So anyway, that's kind of the midway point of our uh, chicken brooder and this is kind of for chickens when they get into that uh, that point where they're going to be too big for the, the little brooder. We'll show that to you soon too. Um, I'm Kevin from Going Batty. Thanks for watching.